This is my favorite clock. Um, you might think it's difficult to interpret, but actually, even if you don't understand what any of these symbols means, it's easy to tell that this is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and back to 12. So you don't really need to know what they mean because you can tell by the position, but if you're interested, um, you can start here. This would be 6 times 2, simple, that's 12. Um, these two numbers have a difference of 1, so to subtract them, you get 1. This would be the square root of 4. That means what two numbers multiplied together will give you 4, and the answer would be 2, because 2 times 2 equals 4. Um, this here, we have 60, or 198 divided by 66, that's 3, because 66 times 3 equals 198. This is an equation, uh, 50 over 2 equals 100 over x. It's a proportion problem, so you would solve this uh, if you didn't realize um, that it's 4 just because multiply the top and bottom of this by 2 and you get that. If you didn't realize that, you could do um, cross multiplication. So 50 times x equals 2 times 100. So 50x equals 200 and divide both sides. By 50, you get x equals 4. So this would be 4. Um, this one, similar to up here, would just be 5 times 126 will give you 630. So 630 divided by 126 is 5. This one's similar to the 4. Um, it's again a proportion problem. Um, although this one actually is 66 divided by 1. It seems kind of redundant because anytime you're dividing by 1, it doesn't do anything. Anyway, you would technically do a proportion, um, a cross product, to solve that. For 7, we have just like Number two, it's a square root, which means what times what will give you 49, and the answer is 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. This one is a little bit more complicated. We've got an equation, like the proportions are equations, but this one is a little more complicated. We've got actually a quadratic. So um, if you subtracted 10 from both sides, then you would end up, um, actually, I would add, I would multiply by negative 1, that way I would get my x squared term positive, I like to keep that positive, then I would have negative 66 plus x squared minus x equals negative 10, you could add 10 to both sides, and then you would end up with um, negative 56 x squared minus x equals 0, and then you would be able to graph that. Um, and the solution to that would be, um, that would be eight, or you could actually factor it. And factoring it would be able to give you the same answer. This is a form of the um, Pythagorean theorem having to do with right triangles. You normally see it in the form of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This would be rearranged a little bit. Um, it would be applied on a Pythagorean triple being 12 as one of the legs, 15 as the hypotenuse. So this would give you the answer of 9 because 9, 12, and 15 um, are the side lengths of a Pythagorean triple for a right triangle. This is another equation. It's a lot simpler. You would just have to add x over to the one side and then add 8 to the other and you get 10. Another division problem just like down here. Um, 111 times 11 is 1,221. And back to the top, again it's simple, just a 6 times 2 for a 12. So we've got quite a lot of math going on in this clock and actually if you didn't notice the time set on the clock is 314 and 15 seconds which is significant because pi is 3.1415. So I went ahead and graphed this function um, just to see what it actually did give because I, I suppose there would be a positive and a negative answer like there normally are for quadratic um, functions. So here's the graph right here. And it's a pretty steep parabola. The vertex is, um, actually it's a negative value. So the vertex is gonna be somewhere up here. Um, we can't see it, but if we go to the 
um, first vertex, it would be at 8, at x equals 8, which makes sense because 6, 7, 8. But it's kind of odd that there's actually another solution down here at negative 7. So whenever the um, hour hand gets around here, it's either 8 o'clock or negative 7 o'clock, whatever that means. But all of the other ones only have one solution, except for this, which actually has two. Anyway, I found that a little bit funny that there's a negative answer to this on the clock. If you enjoyed all the math involved in the math clock, um, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.